Our next two guests come to us from the Fred Astaire Dance Studio here in Sarasota, Tim Penanga and Tiana Ramirez. Thank you for being with us. Thanks this for is so us. exciting. Thank I love you. dancing. I want to hear more about it. So tell us about your studio. Well, the studio has been there for uh, a little over 40 years now, right on the, the corner of Tuttle and Swift. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually the second oldest Fred Astaire in the country, at about 160 dance studios. It's a fact we're very proud of. Yes. <laughs> and for the past, I think, yes. 27 of those years, we've been voted the best place to ballroom dance in Sarasota by the Sarasota Herald Tribune, so it's a... Well, I mean, Fred Astaire, his name is just synonymous with dancing, so let's start first with what is what is a typical day like at your studio when you go in there? So our days start at 12, mm -hmm. so those are our mornings, <laughs> so morning like for it. us is 12. I like it. Um, we typically start uh, just getting all the staff prepared for the day, um, and then our private lessons start whenever. So from 12 to 9 are the studio hours um, and we kind of just book everything around you know your convenience, mm -hmm. anyone's convenience because mm -hmm. we don't want it to be like you have to be here at a certain time every right. day. Right. So we have our private lessons. Um, every evening we do have group lessons and then on Friday nights we have our uh, studio socials so we have a big party. So everybody <laughs> comes. Everybody can come on Friday nights. Yeah. And what time is that from? Until that starts around eight o'clock, and it goes until about nine fifteen. Nine thirty sometimes. Okay. If we're having a good time. Yeah, so we, don't, we don't cut time, it. <laughs> a little social time. So again, we know that Fred Astaire was the most amazing dancer ever. Uh, what type of role does he play in in the studio setting today? Well, as the story goes, in um, 1947, uh, Fred Astaire was coming out of an event, and he mm -hmm. got into his limo. And the limo driver asked him, can anyone learn to dance? Uh -huh. And his response was, any dancer he knew that was good was taught or learned how to dance through some way. So that gave him the idea to mm -hmm. start the studio back in 1947. Okay. And a few years later, he was still busy with movies and, and shows and things, so he allowed his name to still be used because of the belief in the product of dancing. Okay. All right. So his name... We're, we're still proud of his name, we use it. Sure. And uh, we still use the same system of teaching that he started back in 1947. Okay, which is now, really, yeah. it's cool to still have that because you know, a lot of people notice obviously his dance talent and you know, what he did with the movies and dancing, mm -hmm. but to be able to say that we are still using his curriculum, you know, not necessarily his exact curriculum, but right. his way of putting it together right. his and ideas. his systems and teaching it yeah. is kind of, I don't know, it's special. Well, well it is, <laughs> and that's it. I mean, everybody recognizes the name and I think that is just, you know, where you should learn how to dance. Is it a Fred Astaire dance studio? Absolutely. Right? I agree. So what type of experience if any, do you recommend that somebody coming in has? Well, I think Tim said it best as far as Fred Astaire is saying. You know, good dancers are not born. They're taught and trained. Mm -hmm. um, just a little background, Tim and I have no previous dance experience. We were taught the system, the curriculum, brought up the same way mm -hmm. as most of our students do when they come in. Okay. So you don't have to have any dance experience. Any experience. And the age range, I mean, anybody can learn to dance. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, it's, we, it's we have timeless. our clientele are anywhere from 93 all the way to six years old. Okay. So, and everything in between. Okay. Now, how would somebody, our viewers, go about and join your studio? Pick up a phone and call us. <laughs> <laughs> or pop on in. Yeah. <laughs> or pop or on just in. stop in, you know, because we are located in a very well known area in Sarasota. Mm -hmm. um, just to call the studio um, and schedule, like I said, anything that works best on their schedules. Mm -hmm. But it's just very simple. They come in and we introduce them to the studio, to you know Tim and I and their instructor, and we kind of go from there. Okay. So very, very, very friendly atmosphere. Way right back. So it's anybody that that wants to just get some exercise, come in, learn what dancing's about. Um, and again, they can stop in and, and chat with you because I think that would be a nice way to kind of see what it's like, kind of get a feel and break themselves in. Um, I know that you do a lot of um, events and social activities. So what type of things um, can our viewers find with you doing that, doing that sort of thing? Well, we have um, private lessons are what we mainly do, mm -hmm. but um, at least once a day we have group lessons, which okay. is a group setting. We have uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 people in our groups. And every Friday we have a practice party. Right, so the, the group lessons, what time of day does that take place? Those are usually around 6.15 or 7. So okay. they're typically in the evening, so they can accommodate a little bit of everybody. Okay. 
And can anybody kind of walk in to see that if they want to see what a group lesson is like? Absolutely. Would that be a good way to yes. start? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, um, I know that we're going to have you back on Yay. and we're going to talk about some other things in the upcoming series. So what were those be like? Can you give us a little tease of what we can expect? One of my favorite things about being in this business, not just because it's like living a movie, <laughs> but is watching what people gain through dance personally, mm -hmm. whether it is um, meeting new people, losing weight, gaining more self-confidence, mm -hmm. um, overcoming, you know, shyness. There's right. just so many benefits that are associated to learning how to dance. Mm -hmm. And the physical aspect behind it, it's just always been my favorite part, That's is to great. actually look at someone and say, Wow, mm -hmm. I get to see this and I'm a part of it. <laughs> right, right, and that's it. Again, like you said, anybody can come in, anybody Absolutely. can anybody. learn how to dance in any age. Yes, any age. great. Well, thank you so much thank you. for being Thanks here, for and uh, we'll see you again soon. Excellent, yes. thank you. Awesome. Thanks for joining us this week on Aging Gracefully. Tune in next week where we'll be discussing eyelid rejuvenation with Dr. Sessa.